Nothing matters very much. There isn't anything really that I have to do right now. I'm not going to figure this all out today. I'm not going to figure it all out ever. I didn't come to figure it all out. I didn't come to figure it out and tell anybody else what I'd figured out. Nothing matters very much. There's probably some reason for my existence. I'm really not sure what it is. I've tried a lot of things and I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Nothing matters very much. I'm glad that nothing matters very much. <laughs> I'm glad that there isn't anything that I need to figure out right now. I wonder if anybody's figured it out. Probably not. <laughs> I wonder if I was sent here to figure it out. I don't get the sense I was sent here to figure it out. I like to think about why I am here. I'm sure that it's not about finding the perfect thought or the perfect life. <clears throat> Sensing it was, it's about feeling good. I like the idea of feeling good. It feels good not to try to figure it out. It feels good not to have to figure it out. It feels good not to care if anybody figured it out. It feels good to realize that there's not one final thought, that there's not even one triumphant thought. It feels good to think about the evolution of thought. It feels good to think about expansion. It doesn't feel good to think about not following the expansion, but it feels good to generally think about expansion. It feels good to contemplate that maybe being here has something to do with that expansion. I don't think that I'm supposed to force expansion. I like the idea of expanding. I like getting hold of ideas that feel good. I like following out an interesting thread. I like good feeling thoughts. I, I'm glad I don't have to monitor thought. I'm glad I don't have to sift through all of the thoughts. I like contemplating that there is a natural point of beingness that will draw to me just the right thought. I like thinking that the source within me has found that balance. I have a sense that when I strike a balance with the source within me, I'll be in the perfect place of thought. I'm pretty sure that well-being is the basis of everything that came before me. I, I feel that the root of source is that of benevolent well-being. So it's logical to me that I'm an extension of that. I've thought a lot about trying to find my perfect place in order to prove that well-being and it was always frustrating and confusing and I'm glad I'm not thinking there anymore. It's easier just to accept my well-being than to try to justify it or prove it through thought or through conversation or through um, votes from others. It's easier to just accept my natural sense of well-being. I, I can feel the rightness of that. I'm, I'm feeling lazy in my thought and yet satisfied in it. It feels good to just slow it down and not try to figure it all out. 
I'm not being particularly profound right now or <laughs> or intelligent even really I, I I don't think this is the moment I should try to write a book <laughs> but it does feel good to recognize that I don't have to figure it all out right now and that I'm not ever going to figure it all out it's fun to interact with others and I like doing things because I want to do them I I am gently leaving behind me feelings of responsibility and replacing them with feelings of enthusiastic intertwining I'm beginning to get the sense that we are all here especially me but we are all here for the satisfaction in it for the fun of it for the thrill of it for the good of it I I like the thought that I'll never get it done when I think about not having to get it done and I like the thought that I cannot get it wrong when I don't try to compare it with everything and figure out what is right and wrong so I never get it done and I cannot get it wrong I never get it done and I cannot get it wrong I I really like that I'm never gonna get it done and I can't get it wrong so if I can't get it wrong then I'm not here to figure out how to get it right and if I'm not here to figure out how to get it right then I don't have to figure out what's right and what's wrong so I wonder why I'm here <laughs> it must just be for the good feeling of it it must just be for the satisfying feeling of it. it must just be for the contentment of it it must just be for the well-being of it it must just be for the for the satisfaction of it it just must be for the for the fun of it it must just be for the for the pleasure of it it must just be i i'm pretty sure that i'm here because i am i am a really worthy really good person who isn't ever going to get it done and isn't being measured about how well i'm getting it done oh i like this this is a this is a vacation of sorts uh, it is a freedom from responsibility it is a freedom from needing to do something and in the absence of needing to do something I'm sort of starting to want to do some things I I like fun and I like to play and I like smart people and I'm interested in different things and it's nice to know that there is no curriculum that has been laid out for me I I like this general sense that I'm here and it's there for me to choose from and whatever I choose is all right it's logical to me that I didn't just begin when I began it's logical to me that I'm an extension of something and it feels to me that that's something that I'm an extension from right now it feels like it's a secure thing when I look at little kids especially little babies they seem secure to me they seem like they know their well-being and right now I'm feeling like I know my well-being it's like here I am I'm fully functioning some would even call me an adult and in this very moment I feel free of needing to do stuff or needing to think of stuff I feel free of needing to be responsible it's like I've had this little rampage within myself where I've deliberately stayed away from shoulds and and shouldn'ts and I think I've sort of found a place of just natural well-being and so I wonder how long I can stand in this place of natural well-being and and feel this good it feels like a relief because just a little bit ago I was trying so hard to figure things out that I got my brain twisted into a knot and now not trying to figure it all out I'm feeling some relief from all of that and I'm also along with this relief that I've discovered in realizing that I don't have to do anything I'm starting to feel just a tiniest little bit of boredom <laughs> because because I've let a lot of what has driven me be the responsibilities that I've just now deliberately deconstructed and so 
So now I don't quite know what to do because there isn't anything that I'm supposed to do. There isn't anything that I should do. There isn't anything that I have to do. There are no hoops to jump through. And there's no one noticing whether I'm jumping through the hoops or not <laughs> either anyway, except others who completely lost their way and are using screwy criteria in order to judge whether I jump through the hoops. And I got so tired of jumping through the hoops that no longer jumping through the hoops is pleasing in some ways, but now I sort of don't quite know what to do with myself because there is nothing that I'm supposed to do and nothing that I should do. And so I wonder, I'm, there must be, I wonder if I'm here to find things that I want to do. <laughs> I like the idea of that, of finding something that I want to do. Hmm. What do I like doing? I like, I like, I like not being in a hurry. I like funny people. <laughs> I like seeing new things. I like having lots to choose from. I like being on a planet where there is a lot of variety. I like humanity. I adore the flora and fauna of this planet really like the open sea. I really like coming from the open sea into some beautiful island. I like the way the land and the sea mix together. I, I like the sky. I like waking up in the morning. I like the sun coming up. I like the sun going down. I like the nature that surrounds me. I like the well-being of this planet. I like the way this planet spins in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets. I like being a part of all of this. I like thinking about what my part in all of this is. I like knowing that there is so much about that well-being that I don't have to consider, that I don't have to tend to. I like knowing that the well-being just is. I like discovering my part. I like realizing that my part must surely be in the interest that calls me. I like knowing that there are interesting things out there. I, I like the feeling of waiting until I feel interested and then following that interest. I like speculating that maybe I could really live a complete life of, of letting go of the shoulds and the have tos and the need tos and the commitments and just following the want tos and, and, the, and the what feels good. I, I feel that that's the way that my inner being is. My inner being refuses to focus upon things of responsibility. My inner being won't go there with me when I get specific on a lot of things. I can feel that my inner being stays in a very general place. It's like my inner being has deconstructed thought and has just put a blanket of well-being over everything. My inner being doesn't have to consider the rightness or the wrongness of the way that person looks or talks or dresses or lives. My inner being just loves them, loves them, loves them, loves them, loves them. My inner being has found a way of deconstructing the details of thought and finding the essence of who my inner being is and then just flows that feeling of well-being over everything. I think I might like to do that. I think I might like to be in this general place of well-being where I am less opinionated, <laughs> less comparison of opinions and more feeling, more deeply feeling. I'm going to enjoy this sort of deconstructing of thought. I'm going to use fewer words and offer more emotion. I'm going to look at the people I love and I'm going to convey to them what I mean through thought and through emotion and through silence and through body language and through touch and through smile and not so much through words.